Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is a white boy, 7th Street, bringing you some new gameplay from the newest downloadable map available for Modern Warfare 3, if you are an Xbox Elite Premium member, Oasis, and look how I start the game, like a boss, a 1, and a 2, and a 3, for the triple spray to get the UAV, that's a nice way to start a game, I do say so myself, but this map just came out and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it so there's a C4 for your face Ooh, I'm liking it already I will say that this map is beautiful it makes my eyes happy there's a lot of orange and yellow to it but other than that I think it's bright the characters and the enemies definitely do pop out and you can see them they're not like blended in there's not a whole bunch of grass that they can lay in like a little snake but <laughs> so you can see them it's fast-paced, action-packed, even for a 6v6 TDM. The map's kind of big uh, for 6v6, uh, for my liking, personally. You know me, I like the action, I like the ground war. And this map's definitely big enough to hold ground war, which I'm really, really excited for, because domination, oh my god, domination on this map is amazing. The A flag is about right here where I am right now. The B flag's up there by that big fountain where I threw the portable radar. And then the C flag's directly that way where I'm looking and uh, I think I'm gonna be running uh, towards it. So what I'm trying to say is the A, B, and C flag are all in a row and the B flag is in an open spot in the middle of the map and that's just chaos when there's a linear flag set up like that. It's absolutely nuts trying to capture the A flag or the B flag, excuse me. There's grenades flying everywhere air support can hit that B flag with no problem whatsoever and the spawn system makes it fast interesting and just chaotic which I absolutely love and air support's not too powerful on this map besides in the middle you know I'm, I'm flanking a majority of this game which is a, a good technique that I would use if I was you because uh, like I said that middle is just chaos and there's a few corridors and hallways on the left side and right side of the map that you can kind of flank and as you see I'm holding down this position and I'm gonna get a, a whole bunch of kills no oh, devil kill right there for the IMS I'm gonna replace IMS where kind of uh I get they destroyed it over here so I'm like okay come back for more and then it oh this map this map is cool and I want to talk about elite because I don't know if it's worth it all the time if you're not a hardcore Call of Duty player, but if you tend on, uh, if you want to get all the maps, it definitely is. It pays for itself, and I wish if you're not an elite member, you can just buy a few maps because some of them I, I I don't like, and you can you know if you can't have the hands-on experience that I do playing them, you can watch my videos and I can tell you what I like, what I don't like, and I would mm, I I would say this is definitely one of those maps that I would buy if I can choose three of the maps so far from Elite, this would definitely be one of them uh, for my about four hours or so uh, of game time on it. Cause I didn't want to just like, upload like a first impressions video as soon, oh this, how is this possible? I don't, I knew he was coming, I was pre-firing. He just like instantly turns the corner and bang, headshot. But I, I really like this map. This is, like I said uh, in previous videos about these new Elite maps. I feel that this is what Call of Duty does best. Small maps, a lot of action, chaos on the B flag. That, that's what I love, and they did a great job in, in this map doing that. So, there has been one thing kind of bothering me lately, and, you know, I've been playing Call of Duty for about four years now. And previous to this game, the map packs came in groups of three. When there's three maps, every three months or so and th that brought so much excitement to the maps and now where there's map i don't even know the map schedule it's like xbox e elite premium members get it first and then ps3 elite members get it a month later and then a month later than that the xbox people can get it and then a month later after that the the ps3 people can get it and then two years later the pc people can get it and then during that time frame there's like eight new maps and then it just it just chaos and i i wish it would be back to the old days where there was a map pack coming out every three months and the excitement was there it built it a lot more and then people 
could, you know, play on it at the same time. Because I feel when the maps eventually do come out for the regular Xbox uh, Call of Duty players, the people who have Elite have a little advantage of knowing the map. And I don't think that's fair. And it doesn't bring the same level of excitement, uh, I think, personally. So, anyways, guys, this video is wrapping down. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any opinions on the map. How do you think it looks? How, I think it looks like it smells good. Like, it, I want to go on vacation here. And throw back the grenade for the final kill cam buzzer beater, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you can, rate it if you like it. Like it if you like it. I love it when you like it. I think it's more than fair to ask a little favor from you. And I will see you later. Oh, 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 oh. Check out this new zombie video that I made today. People are loving it. Link will be in the description. Annotation on the screen. Go click it. I'll see you later. Bye.